and welcome back everyone to Rachel's Edu Network. Fun with mathematics. So in the previous session, we saw how to multiply single digits just by drawing crossover lines and counting the number of intersecting points. If you haven't watched yet, please find the link in the description box below. So today in this session, we will be using the same Japanese method to multiply two-digit numbers. So what are we wait waiting for? Get your paper and pen. So how do we calculate 12 into 13? So the steps that we follow is we write 12, we write 13, put a multiplication symbol, multiply 3 with 2, write the answer, 3 with 1, write the answer, then come to the next line and multiply 1 and 2 and 1 and 1 and finally we add all these together and we get the answer that is 156. But if the numbers are more complex then how do we calculate? So for all the students out there watching, you can use this method to check whether your answer is correct and be confident of getting full marks before getting your result. So let's start. So if the question is 12 into 13, what we have to do is in the previous one we had only single digit that is if the number was 4 into 2. For the first one we drew horizontal line and for the second number we drew vertical lines and then counted the number of intersecting point. So the same thing we have to do, the only difference I'll show you in this problem that is for 12 into 13, first what we have to do is we have to take the number 12 and first draw one line for the number 1, leave some gap and draw two lines for the number Two. So horizontal line is over for the first number only the difference is we have to give line some gap between the two numbers next we have to draw vertical line so the number is 13 so it consists of 1 and 3 so for 1 we will draw 1 vertical line and for 3 we will draw 3 vertical lines and after that we have to separate the vertically aligned parts together so in this we will have 3 parts that is this is the first one then the second one that is the two extreme parts are the two parts and then the middle one we have and then we have to start counting the number of intersecting points in each part so we'll start from the last one because this is our unit place so let's start one two three four five six the last one's answer is six middle one we have one two three four five and the last one we have intersection points are 1. So the answer we have to write from top to down that is 1, 5, 6. So always while counting we have to count from down to up and for writing we have to write from up to down. And the answer we got that is the number of intersecting points after writing from up to down it is 1, 5, 6 that is 156. This is the answer of 12 into 13. Next we will find the solution for 23 into 26 so same method first draw horizontal lines for 23 that is first two horizontal lines for number two and three hors horizontal line for number three next for 26 draw two vertical lines and then draw six vertical lines and after that separate the vertically aligned parts so the two extreme parts and the middle part will separate and then count the number of intersecting points from the below need part going upwards. So the first part we have the intersecting points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. So the number of intersecting points we got here is 18. But keep in mind that whenever we are writing the number, we have to write only the number as a single digit. That is, we can't write two digits over here. So, we have to write only 8 here and give 1 as carry to the next part. That is the middle part, the part coming after that. So, the next part we will start counting. So, 1 we have given us the carry for the next part. And the next part we will start counting. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. And we have a carry that is 1. So altogether it is 19. So here also what we will do, we will write only 9. That is the unit place we will write over here. And the 1 we will give as a carry for the next part. And let's start counting the next one. The next one we have 4 intersecting points. That is 1, 2, 3 and 4. 
and one carry so the total is 5 now let's write from top to down that is 5 9 8 so the number of intersecting points that we got is 598 and the answer for 23 into 26 is equal to 598 so till now we have seen single digit numbers then multiplication of two digit numbers that is simple two digit numbers then numbers with carry and next we'll see if we are having zero as a number then how to draw a line for zero so if in case the number suppose the number is 20 into 22 then how do how do we draw that is for 20 we have to draw first the horizontal lines for 20 two horizontal line leave a gap and for zero make line with different color or just you can draw dotted lines and for the next one that is 22 draw vertical line that is two vertical lines leave a gap and again two vertical lines then same like before we have to separate the parts that is the vertically aligned parts we have to separate the two extremes and the middle one we'll get and after that start counting the number of intersecting points so start counting the intersection points from the last part so in the last part you can see that uh, we can't count the intersecting points which are having dotted lines so do we have any other lines without dotted lines no so the number of intersecting point is zero next part we can see the down one we are having dotted part dotted lines but for the above one we are having horizontal lines so what we have to do is we have to count only that part so it becomes as 1, 2, 3, 4. So the number of intersecting points total is 4. And the last part that is the above part we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 intersecting points. Now right from top to bottom. So it is 4, 4, 0. That is the answer for 20 into 22 is 4, 4, 0. That is 440.